Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well. And today we've got a bit of a, a bit of a short video again as uh, there's nothing out there worth picking up at the moment. No new stuff around. Um, still having a bit of a peg drought, diecast drought, um, as is many places at the moment. But uh, as mentioned in a previous video, my last previous video, I said we'd take a look at this Unimog today. And uh, I've also got a a little truck that I picked up from a, a charity shop so I did pick something up and uh, we'll take a look at it in a minute anyway but let's let's take a look at close look at this um, Unimog so this is a piece that I bought squeaky chair let's apologize um, last week um, I bought this from the same collector that I bought the I'm trying to think now what it's called the transporter set so I got this from the same place and uh, again didn't pay a lot for it um, he was a uh, sort of collected fire engines and anything to do with the fire service you know rescue service type stuff and like I said I, it, I've never heard of this name before before um, I can't even pronounce it properly to be honest Verem, 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 I don't know. But anyway, but it is, from what I can gather, a derivative of Salido. So, as you can see there. So I take it this is made in France. And as I said, there's, it does say on the side, so it says uh, Mercedes Unimog. But these are cool. So let's take a closer look. But... Uh, Let's try and open it up. Like I said, this he's, he had this. I think he said he had this for over 20 years. I think this possibly might have been his collection nearly 30 years. I haven't researched this piece. The box is quite tatty. Um, but it's always interesting to pick up pieces from other people's collections. So there's the Unimog with the covered in wagon sort of back. And we'll get it off. Let's pull the curtain back a little bit. I've got a bit of glare going on. Let's get it off this base. And we'll have a closer look. So I will pause for two seconds while I unscrew it. Two secs. And there it is. And I'll tell you what. That was a real, real pain to get off. It had this. I'll just show you. Huge screw. And another one on the back. On the little trailer. And um, it was tight. That didn't want to go anywhere but as you can see i've managed to get it off um, which is cool there was this weird little transfer set in with it um, so i'm not quite sure what that's for i presume maybe for this but um yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the we'll take the trail off and we'll take a look at the unimog itself and it's straight away it's a nice weighty piece obviously rubberized tires and um, it's got this very strange blued glass on it, which I suppose that's so that the light can be blue rather than a separate piece. And you've got the snorkel air filter there, which is pretty cool. And uh, for anybody that's ever seen an Unimog in real life, we've got them in this country. Um, they use them all over the world primarily, but um, our electric companies use them. And the ones they use... They're on these huge, huge, big balloon wheels. I mean, this actually looks relatively small compared to the ones that you see now. But even these aren't small. But um, pretty cool. Like I said, weighty casting. I presume this must be some sort of... I hesitate to say some sort of like a roll cage type thing, obviously. Um, I'm not sure what that stands for. I presume it's in French. I'm not quite sure. You have to forgive me on that. It does have there some sort of... It looks like an emblem of, of the place it's... The actual, I presume, the fire department that it's with. Um, and obviously I think this covered in back. I think it does come off, but it's quite stiff. Um, it will come off. Let's see if we can get it off. Two seconds. There you go. So there's the with the uh, covered in back off. 
you can see it says Salido there, made in France. So like I said, this is an old piece, Mercedes, Mercedes Unimog. Obviously got a spare there, but it is an old piece, but I should imagine, yeah, that's where the screw went. But pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this back on. It definitely goes on easier than it comes off. But like I said, it's a, it's a nice piece. In what I hesitate is one and forty third scale, um, and like I said, this is. I'm sure the guy said he's had this nearly thirty odd years, um, so it's not a spring chicken. But anyway, so that's the the truck. And then the other side, obviously, is just the same sort of thing. And then here we got. Obviously, what I presume um, is a generator. Um, I'm not quite sure because you've got what looks like. Yeah, you've got air vents there. And these look to me to be like exhausts. I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, so this is obviously a generator of some sort. So and maybe keeps tools in it and stuff and maybe it's got pipes i'm not sure if i'm i expect this probably may be uh could possibly be the bit that holds the water has a generator in it i presume so they'll pull up to a fire wind this down get the pipes out start it up and obviously it does the same thing as a larger fire fire uh, fire appliance but like I said, I haven't really researched this. I just thought I'd fly by the seat of my pants with this one. Instead, said you've got a spare wheel. But again, it's got a some metal base on this. As you can see, Salido made in France. But it is pretty cool. And obviously, clips on there. As you can see, it rolls quite nice. So that is the Unimog. Any of anybody else that can throw any light on it, um, please feel free. Um, because as I said, I don't read the language, unfortunately, that or know that I don't like I said, I didn't really research it. I've been a little bit lazy recently. I've just been doing the videos off the seat of my pants rather than usually I, I, I sort of research stuff, but I haven't. But uh, anyway, so that is the Unimog from some sort of fire department rescue service. I hesitate to say French, France, somewhere maybe, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so that's pretty cool. And then I may leave at the bottom where it's from, actually, in the video. And then we got this. Is it Hershey's? Hershey's truck. Now, this is pretty cool and pretty good, Nick. I paid £2 for this from a charity shop not far from me. And let's take this piece off, if I can get it to come off. And the truck is all metal body, obviously. And a very, very solid metal base. Uh, I do believe this is a Kenworth truck. It says in the bottom here, let's have a look. It says, if we can get... Road Champs, and it is a Kenworth T600, is it T600? It's 2 take off camera. It looks like it says T6 DDA truck. I thought it said T600, but I do believe it's... I can't tell, to be honest. It's. Uh, let's try zooming in a little bit. Ah, there you go. That's better. Kenworth T600A, so I was wrong. Truck, road champs. But uh, I've never heard, I don't think I've ever heard of road champs. I don't think it's anything to do with uh, road legends or anything. I'm not quite sure. Or racing champions, I don't think so. But anyway, pretty cool for the money. I didn't pay, like I said, I didn't pay a lot for it. And it was in such good condition that I couldn't leave it there and obviously you've got the trailer it's done pretty well you've got a metal uh sh sort of chassis you've got these little legs that come down and metalized 
so it holds it up which is quite a nice touch obviously the rear doors open um it's it's like a a well-made matchbox convoy it's like the matchbox convoys but uh a little bit better made as as the fact it's so metalized but like i said anybody that likes the uh matchbox convoy trucks will like this i think it's pretty cool for two quid you can't go wrong but anyway that is it for today um like i said i will try and look up um where this uni mog is from and leave it in the lower part of the video it's like a little search light there. I just wonder if these stickers. I need to do that. But anyway. But uh, but pretty cool to add to the collection anyway. Like I said, I like Unimogs anyway. I like these bigger off-road vehicles. And stay tuned, because this afternoon um, I'm going to be working on this. Um, as a little side project, I'm going to strip it, do a wheel swap. And detail it slightly maybe paint these lights up maybe paint the interior a different color not that you can see the interior but stay tuned for that because that should be interesting when it's finished and i'm also working on another gasser project um for myself now which i'll be doing some point of this week but anyway thanks for watching please like share subscribe and i'll see you all very soon take care